My name is James Swanson, the Global Product Training Manager for Pentair's Hoffman brand. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about cooling, uh, specifically open loop cooling and closed loop cooling and what it means to you. The reason it's important to look at the different types of cooling, open loop cooling, closed loop cooling, and conductive cooling, is because based on the equipment that's inside the enclosure and the temperature at which that equipment can properly function, we have to choose our cooling options. Our ambient temperature plays a large part in choosing a cooling option, whether or not we can have open loop, closed loop, or conductive cooling. Open loop solution will always have our temperature above the ambient temperature. This is something that people need to pay attention to. So if we take a minute to look at open loop cooling, what's the definition? Anytime you bring outside air into the enclosure, it's open loop cooling, whether that be by louvers, or fans or filtered fans. Now there are different definitions of UL type rating that can be open loop cooling. Uh, type one is your louvers and your fans that are unprotected and you can have a filtered fan with the proper filter media that can pass the UL type 12 test and maintain the integrity of your type 12 enclosure, keeping it dust tight. However, when you introduce outside air you are always introducing whatever contaminants are in that air other than dust. The filters will take out the dust, but they won't take out any other chemicals that are in the air. So you have your corrosive agents as well as the moisture. In a closed loop situation, what you are doing is you are recycling the air inside the enclosure. And by recycling the air inside the enclosure, that means you're not introducing moist outside air into the enclosure, protecting your equipment from dangerous contaminants and dust. Closed loop cooling doesn't have to be an air conditioner. It can be a heat exchanger as well. But the big thing about closed loop cooling is maintaining the integrity of the air inside the enclosure. The other type of cooling is conductive cooling. And conductive cooling is literally taking the enclosure and oversizing the enclosure to make sure that the skin of the cabinet becomes the heat exchanger. This only works in situations where you can allow the temperature inside the cabinet to be warmer than the outside temperature. Some of the consequences of not addressing the heat problems in your enclosure can be derated drive performance, loss of warranty on the equipment inside your cabinet, or catastrophic line failures, which can lead to missed shipments and customer dissatisfaction. If you're designing a system, Remember, use our cooling calculator. It will guide you in the right direction. If you have equipment that's already on your shop floor and it needs to have some cooling added to it, call one of our thermal specialists and they can come and do a thermal audit for you. We also have remote access control for continuous monitoring. Our aftermarket service and support can assist you from purchase to maintenance. Thanks again for joining us for this video. For more information on cooling, contact your local Hoffman representative or look us up on the web 